Hi Tracy, this is Parker at Uncharted Recreation here in Meridian, Idaho. This is going to be a quick little walkthrough of the 2022 Shockwave 29 RQMX. Just a couple quick specs on the unit. It's got a dry weight of 8,957 pounds. Your gross vehicle weight rating is 13,000 pounds. It's got a freshwater tank capacity of 140 gallons. Gray water capacity is 80 gallons and your black water uh, capacity is 40 gallons. The unit is 36 feet overall and it sits at a 102 inches wide and that's from the exterior. That's legally um, as wide as you can make these things. So as far as fitting your toy, um, that shouldn't be an issue as far as width goes. Um, and then like we went over earlier, it's got a 16 foot garage. So it seems like uh, from the dimensions it should fit. Uh, we'll start here at the front. This one's got a power tongue jack. It's just a push button operation. Makes setting up camp pretty easy and convenient. It's set up for seven way because this trailer does have brakes, of course. Your batteries will be mounted and installed up front here. That's just an old battery we threw on this so we can turn the lights on um, on the weekend, play some music, that sort of thing. Battery disconnect switch is going to be located up front as well. That's about it for the front here. You do have a little bit of a rock guard for any rocks that are spit up on the front here. Nice big graphics as well. Now over here, you're gonna have your sewer hose um, port, whatever you wanna call that. And then you've got your generator right here. So this is a Yamaha 4500, or excuse me, 5500. I don't know why I said 4500 with your exhaust right here. Now this trailer does have a heated and enclosed underbelly all the way through, making this great for extended season if you're gonna be doing any cold uh, camping. This does have powered jacks as well, and I'll show you that on the other side. Here's a good look at the slide here on the unit. This uses a Lippert slide system, so you've got a motor on all four corners. Makes it very efficient for sliding in and out, and it's pretty quick as well. Your outdoor shower is located here on the slide. City water connection here. Water heater there. You got your 50 amp, just because this is a big trailer, you could always add a second AC unit to this one if you'd like. That's where your power goes in. Your cable. This is a tandem axle trailer, so it's gonna tow really well. Your fuel station's located here on the back. Here's your pump. And your, uh, it's locked away so nobody can steal your fuel. And this is where you would fill. All right. Sorry if it's a little noisy, I'm off a of main road here. You do have a ladder on this unit. It has a walk-on roof if you ever need to get on top and do any sort of roof maintenance. I opened the ramp for you so you can see the, the inside a little bit better here. This has the full patio kit with cables and then you also get the little fence enclosure as well. Kind of nice to have. This one's also got the uh, drop down. That's, all, that's a bed, but it's also uh, two couches that come down on either side. And then you also have a bunk bed that sits above that. So you have two beds um, on this unit on the back here. Removable table here. So that just pops out. It does come with a ladder. All right, and now I'm gonna go to the other side here real quick. So here's a look at this side of the trailer. These are built in California. So this is a true toy hauler frame. Here's your little powered switch for your electric jacks. You do have a little uh, lock here that you can lock your toy up if it's parked outside. Um, kind of nice and convenient. Little tie downs here and there as well if you're tying any dogs up while you're gone. Pretty massive uh, power awning on this one with LED lights. You also get outdoor speakers. These are Kenwood speakers, so it's an upgraded stereo system. Little TV mounting bracket outside as well with power and cable hookups if you wanted to mount a TV out here and watch TV outside. Your winter, winterization, your drain outlet, your fresh water connection all on this side. Your exhaust for the furnace, your fridge. Uh, this one does have, it's hard to get to based on where I have it parked here, but you do have a separate entrance to the bedroom. I'll show you more of that when we get in. Um, you do also have the storage compartment up front. 
that uh, is pretty good size. It does not go all the way through. And then you do get a 1500 watt inverter in this guy, standard. So, all right, let's go inside. That's probably what you're most interested in. Okay, so stepping up inside, like I said, it's a 16 foot garage. You'll have blackout shades on all your windows here that pull down. This one does come with a TV. I know you were asking about that. Lots and lots of storage in this unit. So lots of overhead cabinets up top here, all the way down to the kitchen. Same thing on the other side here. Um, all your controls are actually hidden in this compartment right here for your slide mechanisms, your lights, your bed controls, your generator, all that stuff's in here. Your Kenwood stereo system is gonna be located right next to it. And you'll have four of those Kenwood speakers inside the trailer itself. Hopefully you can see that okay. Alrighty, and then more overhead storage here. This one does have solar on board already, just so you know, it's a 200 watt panel. I'll step back a little bit. This couch here can fold flat. So it's just your standard jackknife sofa here. So it's kind of hard to do one handed, but that folds flat. And then that folds up against the wall here. You tuck the legs in. That's gonna give you plenty of room to load your toy. And then you can move these chairs wherever you'd like. They do rock and they're very comfortable. Okay, going to the kitchen now. These are solid surface countertops so you can set high, hot items on them uh, without worrying about burning your counter. You've also got a nice single compartment sink in here. Nice flexible fixture as well. Oops. All right, overhead storage up top here microwave you do have a three burner stove here and it's a full size decent sized oven and then more pantry storage over here goes all the way down with lots and lots of shelves here okay here's your solar controller and then you've got your max air fan um, and your tank controller here. Your fridge is located right here. Freezer up top. And then it looks like you get a, I believe this is an eight cubic foot, might be a 10, but I'm pretty sure it's an eight cubic foot refrigerator. You've got a little door here to the bathroom. It is a pass through, so you can go all the way to the, the bedroom through this way. Porcelain toilet. A little bit of storage in here. Nice walk-in shower. Your sink. And you do get a medicine cabinet as well. That uh, opens up behind there. Okay, I'll go through the other door to get to the bedroom. So coming through the kitchen here, you got a door here. This will take you into the bedroom. So it's a it's a queen, it is a walk around queen. You're gonna have a nice tall hanging closet on either side of your bed here. Blackout shades in here as well. I think I mentioned you can add a second AC, but this one actually already has two AC units. So that's pretty cool. So you got one in the bedroom and one out in the main living. And you get storage up top, another closet. You got a little bit of overhead here. USB charging and normal outlets here as well. If you're trying to charge any devices at night and that is on both sides, by the way. And then that's the other door that you can go through to the bathroom. Underneath this bed, this lifts up and you've got a pretty good um, space for storage. You can set your shoes underneath here or on top of here, um, that sort of thing. And then that's that door to the outside that I was showing you outside. So anyway, that pretty much sums it up for this walkthrough on the 2022 Shockwave 29 RQMX. Thanks for watching.